Hey guys, this is Fox here, and we're playing Minecraft, and this is a mod pack called Feed the Beast Infinity in Evolved. Now, um, you can you can find this on, on their website, Feed the Beast, and all you have to do is download fucking Forge and the mod pack itself. Um, it is kind of a, a robust mod pack, so um, it might not work on um, slower computers, lower end computers, but it is definitely worth it. Um, and I'll show you why. But, um, let me see. Yeah, there we go. I made it on a server because, uh, it's easier to find that way. It's kind of permanent as opposed to having a single player one and then it disappearing when you uninstall and stuff. Oh my god, do the thing, pretty please. Whoa! Thank you. Oh, I also have um, skins, um, a texture pack on, as soon as it loads in. Um, it's called Sphax something or other, just S-P-H-A-X. It's a lovely texture pack. Um, this, These textures aren't part of it, it's part of another one, um, but these ones are. Yeah, I like those ones. It's really pretty. It's um, it's a certain aesthetic. So, um, I've been wanting to record Minecraft for a very long time. You have no idea. Um, I, I love Minecraft. I've been on it since beta. Um, and, um, and, and just mod packs make it all the better. It, 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 it makes it a brand new game. So, okay, so I'll start from the inside. This is my humble abode. Um, to the right is my armory room, which I should probably fucking light up. Thank you. Have some armor here. Some of it's all used up. Some of it's not. Um, I have some thing like tool racks to hold my shit um, that I've found and stuff. Um... This is the library, which, you know, it doesn't look very impressive at first, but there's, each of these books are a real book, and there's, like, a dozen of them fucking all over the place. There's nine of these same books, five of these, etc. Um, and there's more. These are, this is mostly my Thomonic, Thomonomicons, but, hmm, yeah. And, um... Yeah, just those are my bookcases and my collection of repeating books. Cause I am a collector. It's empty for now. Um, sorry if I'm all jaggedy. I need something to eat. I'm getting all shaky. Um, this is my brewing area. Uh, this is vanilla stuff. Um, brewing stand and you know the cauldrons and shit. Um, this is uh, a mod from Bibliocraft. You can kind of see it at the top there. Which mod it comes from, um, you put your potions on there. You can grab them like that, or I think you can point at them and grab them. Nope. You just grab them from the, from the thing. And I've been collecting random shit here. Tongue of dog. It's gross. Um, this is my... Um, industrial room. Um, I have all my tools there. There's a fucking all sorts of different fucking tools. These are awesome. Okay, these are the compart compartment chests where there's five by five in each area, and you can name each one. This one's ore. This one's ingot. And um, you can kind of organize your fucking boxes, which is amazing. I've been needing that for forever. Um. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is going out. I've been doing this for a little too long. But I can't stop. Um, this is the generator. Um, back when I, before I had electricity going on. Um, but that's for backup. Uh, this is the macerator you throw. Fucking, like, ingots and shit. Let's see if I got, or not ingots, or, here we go. Or no, no, maybe not. I don't know if this will actually do it with gravel. Probably not. Nope, it won't do it with gravel. Uh, the furnace, well, I can probably put these in there. 
and all of this is powered by solar panels. So you mix it into that. And this one's way more um, effective than the regular furnaces. There's like, there's, uh, there's another coal burning one below this, and it's better than the vanilla one, but this one is the best. It goes fast, and it gives you, um, it gets, gives you the most out of what you're burning and shit like that, so. Plus it runs by electricity. And not coal. Um, the extractor is mostly for rubber. Raw rubber. Um, there we go. Probably don't need any re of the resin. Stick it, stick it in there. And um, it turns it into a usable rubber, which is in turn used for wiring, covering the wire, like copper wires and tin wires and shit like that. It gets complicated. This, it, excuse you. Um, this. So I'll have those running. Um, this and the industrial craft mod is very complicated and it took me a while to get even just this small room full of stuff and honestly this is all I need there is some more complicated stuff um, and I'll and always it always goes up to fucking nuclear energy so there's that if if that's a thing you like so my bat boxes they keep energy in them I have two of them they both connect to these and above which you can't see yet are my solar panels uh, this is some. This is um, the mist craft room. I haven't really touched upon it because it's scary. You have to be very precise, and you have to understand the mod very well before you um, <clears throat> before you mess with it. But I found all that stuff in villages. So, and there's the puppers, pupper, and pupper, and there's another pupper down there. I think this one is the thumb thumb craft room. Um, this is an awesome mod. I love it. It's been around for a while in different um, versions, but it's consistently remained the same for the most part. Just minor things. Um, there's the thon Thonomicon, thom Thomonicon, whatever. Um, I'll show you, show you this right away. Um, there are so many fucking tabs on the on things you can learn. Um, the basic stuff is here. Um, I've learned all the ones that are tied together I've researched and learned which is very complicated and time consuming but it's fun and then all of these these are like for nodes and stuff um, to get to get energy um, out of out of nodes they're, they're just little balls of energy they look like fucking I don't, I don't, I don't know something but anyway um, and then there's like other ones, like the grayed out ones are the ones I haven't fucking found. So you, like you have to decode them. Um, alchemy. Yeah. And, but yeah, so there's like so many, so many. I haven't even touched on any of them except the basic one. So yes, there's that. And this comes with it, or you have to make but this is one of the cool things that comes with it. You have to... Um, fucking like right click and you can get um energy I guess is the easiest term from it and it's like each elemental thing and you can use each one uh, each type of energy for um unlocking things and stuff like for research I'm surprised I haven't fucking done that yet. Did I do all of them? Yes, I did. I don't know why I didn't fucking research the crystals, but I did a thing now. Okay, so these are all the elements that I've researched so far. I think I have all of them. There's, I think, 60. Um, I don't know. I don't really know. Um, 60, but some of the mods are that have the others don't I'm either not using them or they don't quite, um, I haven't gotten to that level yet. But, um, I can't show you right now. Excuse you. 
Um, I have to find a research. Um, yeah, it's it's complex. I don't I don't. That's for another time. It's it's very complex, and I don't want to go into it right now. Um, this is the apothecary room. Um, this is for Botania. Oops. Um, water here for the the apothecary. You put the water in there. You put a few petals in there based on the Botania book. These are these are my flowers. They're like mystical flowers, seeds for them, which I don't fucking know how to use. Petals that I've collected, and the Botania Botanica book. Um, I have the wand of the forest, which is pretty um, essential for it. But yeah, you have no idea. This is a very complicated mod as well. It takes you a while to fucking to fucking get through it, and it gets um, it 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 eventually um, no. Where did I share it to? I don't understand. Why are you? What are you doing? There it is. Is this it? No. I forgot how to use it. Anyway, it's complicated. And eventually it turns into magic stuff that you put in, like, mana. It's called mana for this, um, for this one. You collect energy from things, and it gives you magical things in return. And you can carry it around sometimes and use it. Um, this is the kitchen. Um, I have all my food that I've been farming and stuff in here. There's a lot. Um... I'm mostly farming to try and get all of the different species that I can possibly get in the game. And, um, these are some of the vanilla things, um, in here, as well as the tree fruits that I've been trying to farm out to. Um, all the pots and skillets and juicer, all the equipment for the thing. These are a lot of the raw materials. I made a buttered potato. Um, the kitchen stuff is actually pretty complicated, too. Um, let's, let's not dwell on the bees yet. Um, so, in order... Let's see. Let's see, let's see. What is it called? Pam's... Pam's stuff. Okay, so she has... All these things. She has, like... These are things you can make. And they're kind of complicated. A lot of them are complicated. You have to nest a bunch of things. And like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pages of things that you can cook or make. Um, and this is the cutting board, the, the presser. Um, for that, you use um, honeycombs and you put it in here and it gives you wax and honey. The oven, you obviously cook bread and shit in it, or whatever. Um, but yeah, um, it's part of the that mod, and you can use the the wax on their stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff, so you can get honey. Um, you also get bee grubs and queens. Queens um, pretty much do the whole thing. I'll show you that in a bit. This is my room. These are awesome boxes. You can break them down and take them with you and they still have all their items in them and I've been collecting them from villages I think I have more let's see I, don't know. I have more somewhere jukebox um, all my all my shit that I've been collecting things that I've been needing for multiple stuff um, safe I have all my rarest shit in here up to this point um, a lot of lighting stuff, um, like redstone lamps, and a lot of different rare swords that I've found. Uh, diamond, very few diamonds that i found. Um, redstone and shit like that. Um, what else? Oh yeah, and these badass lanterns are from the villages too. They're awesome. Um, let's go this way. You like that? I got killed, and it gave me a head. I don't, I don't, 
yeah, it's pretty cool. So I, it's my place. My place now. This is a pure daisy. You put fucking stone around it, or wood, and it turns it into enchanted wood. Um, this is mana for the apothecary area. You have to have a setup like this. These are dead plants. Um, usually you have to have, um, fucking, I forgot what they're called. I don't know. They're like little yellow flowers and you have to put them around this thing so it can shoot into this and fill this up full of mana. And then you can use that mana for multiple things. And this is just, um, it shows you if you're losing or if you're gaining mana. And this is the runic altar that eventually you, that's like, that's what all this is for, is eventually you get to the runic altar. You make runes, and then you combine them with other things to make stuff. It's it's complicated. I don't even know exactly how to, how to work it still. I haven't used the runic altar yet. This is this Pam's Harvest Craft um, mod. It's for the apiary. Um... See, like, the queen has, like a, like, a lifespan on it, and she'll continue to make honey and honeycombs um, until all of these are full, and then she'll die, and you have to pretty much replace her. Uh, I'll show you that in a bit. It's kind of sad. I feel bad for the bee. Ah, puppers. Hey. Sup, doggo. And these are just um, from Deco Craft. Just pretty stuff. Um, that you can put in here. Those are vanilla, actually. Um, is it day? Yeah, it is. It's day. This is my very small tree farm. Um, can fucking grab them out. Yeah, bananas. And you can eat them. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. Um, this is kind of a rough thing. I put it all on grass um, and just kind of enclosed it so things can't get in usually, but they can spawn on the grass here. So that's why I don't usually go out here at night. Um, this is an, a fire apothecary. Put fucking lava in it to dispose of things I don't want, you know, laying around on the floor. Um, this, this is... This is where you craft all kinds of tools and weapons and shit like that. Um, cause what's, what's Tinker's construct? Yeah. So the tinkering is you can make, you can make things from stencils and I have all the stencils, I think. And, um, you make a stencil here out of blank piece of paper and then you go over here and you put the stencil here of what you want, like say you want an axe head and then the material here and then the wood here and the other stencil that you want and it'll come out and craft the thing. Just the parts though and then you have to combine the parts here I think? Yeah, you have to choose which one, like that one and you put the parts and then it combines and you can make it. And I don't know what this one's for just yet. Main way to repair or change your tools. I haven't used it yet, because I can repair it over here, but whatever. Um, this is probably the most complex room um, that I've been working in as of late. I should probably go sleep so things don't fucking spawn. Oof. Yeah, this is... um. This is an awesome mod pack. Um, I've been playing in it a lot. I kind of stopped for a tiny bit recently just because um, I've been listening to podcasts instead. It's pretty fun. Okay, so this one, flaming fucking zombies out there. <laughs> this one has, these are all perfect seeds that I've been growing. So every seed in this and Harvest Craft is, um, it starts at one. Gr growth one, gain one, strength one. And you have to crossbreed plants uh, of both kinds to get different species. Um, like, two different species to gain another kind of species. Or 
um, crossbreed with crossbreed with each other of the highest ones to eventually get to ten, which takes forever. Like this took me a long time to get. Like you have no idea. Like this chest is hours and hours and hours and hours of work. Um, these are all the seeds that I haven't really uh, gotten to do yet. These are all different species I haven't planted yet. See, like the beans start at one. I found some bean seeds that are higher, so that's awesome. Um, they all they all have like things like that. Um, it's, I found an unidentified one in here somewhere. Where was I? Where was it? Christ! Fucking zombie! Where the fuck you at? fuck is he? Is he under here? So... Oh no! There's two of them! Oof. Okay. This is my orberry bush room. As you can see. I'm going through them. They have thorns. Um, yeah, you collect ore berries and then you grind them up into the th or not grind them up you um fucking god words brain do the thing why are you up here what is it because i was being attacked i bet that's what it was um what was i saying oh yeah you just heat them up i'll show you and the thing because why not oh, god Bunch of gold. And I mean, to make this really effective, you have to have a lot of orberry bushes, which I have a lot in chests, but I don't really need to have like a lot of them farming right now because I don't. I need to make the farm bigger underground, and that requires work, and I don't want to do that. So I'll put I'll put this back over here, and these in there. And this actually gives you this or energy or whatever the fuck it's called. Ugh, there's so many different names. Um, God, that scared the shit out of me. I hate that banging on the fucking door out of nowhere. Um, I'm gonna find that fucking unidentified so I can. Oh no, let's just do this one. I think it'll work. Okay, so this is the seed identifier analyzer thing. You put the seed in here and it identifies growth, gain, and strength. So it's all one. Um, and it puts it into this journal here. Um, it tells you which mutations give you what. Growth stages, the fruits that it gives you, you know, etc. Uh, asparagus, bamboo shoot. Yeah. This is like the list of all the fucking um, different seeds and species that I've found. Okay, so put this back in the thing and put this back here. Yas. Um, and these are a bunch of seeds. These are common seeds that I haven't bothered with yet, like belladonna and stuff. Those belong to witchery. And I have no need for them just yet, so I'm not breeding them. Um, this is... I forgot what it's called. Seed storage. It's not really storage. You put one seed in here and it'll tell you its growth, gain, and strength. And you put all the same seeds in here and it'll tell you by that. It'll organize it by the highest to lowest. Um, this, this is the fucking basic ass room where I first started, you know, this is the iron furnace. Oh, look, glass is in there. Cool. I should probably take that out. Um, this is the the deco craft. Yeah, this is the deco craft thing. You have to put. Um, I forgot. I think you put things in here, and it turns it into clay, and then it goes down in here into different colors: red, green, and blue. And like the f the grayed out, dark grayed out ones, you can't make. You don't have enough shit. But the light ones you can, and they're all there's all kinds of shit, all kinds of shit, lots of shit. 
things that I probably will not use. I use some of them, but not most of them. Random shit. And that's that's it for the shops slash rooms in the garden. Um, and this is how I crossbreed. I put one here, one here, and then I put two of the cross crop sticks here, and it'll grow it um, into a higher, hopefully a higher, um, higher level of seed. And I do that with all of these. I'm not crossbreeding anything, any species just yet. These are all of the same species. I'm just trying to get higher levels. I cannot crossbreed these or those just because they're vanilla. Um, strawberries, raspberries, candleberry, bell peppers, you get, you get the gist. Hemp. Um, I've been doing this for a while. This is, this is where I've been focusing most of the time. <clears throat> God damn it. I'm losing my voice. Um, yeah, it's mostly where I am when I'm not in the mine collecting stuff. So that's the bottom level. The top level, I made the floor out of glass because if it's too dark, things will spawn. <clears throat> so this is, these are the, so, well, this is a solar panel that I'm using, um, keeping this area open so it doesn't block it. This is casting tables and stuff. Um, I haven't used them yet. I haven't really researched much into them. So this is another farm for that I've set up with redstone for um, making seeds um, specifically for another mod I'll show you in a sec. But, so each of these, I'll show you exactly how it works. They're not fully grown yet, but whatever. I have plenty. Push the button, water um, washes them all out. They go into these hoppers and um, then the hopper feeds it into the chest. See, like, all these. And it does the same thing on the other side. Let me tell you, redstone's complicated. Um, yeah, hoppers. And those are, that's how you do it. And then, um, I'll just take a few. No, not, not this. I need seeds. So... Um, I'm, I'm using the grain as well, but, um, I'm using the seeds over here to, in the squeezer, um, to make seed oil in order to make things in the carpenter. Um, you can make all sorts of shit. I forgot exactly what you could make. Um, and it stopped because it doesn't have any energy. So I made a redstone steam dynamo here, um, where you put things that burn. For the sake of it, I'll fucking put a, a piece of coal in there. This is the only thing that is um, using coal at the moment in my base. And this goes up, this is your steam, this is your water intake, which I have a basin of water underneath, as you can see to feed the steam constantly, so I don't have to keep refilling it. And it it feeds into this, and it's doing the squeezer, and it's filling it up. And this is the centrifuge, which you use to identify bees and get stuff out of the things that they make in their honeycombs and shit. I have all these bees. This is from forestry. This is the complicated as fuck apiary mod um and all i'm really doing is from them is i'm getting propolis and i got magic wax um but mostly i'm just getting honey and um just making beeswax out of it so like there's a bee analyzer that comes with it it's complicated um and where i harvest the bees from is fucking over here. You keep a bunch of flowers near the apiaries. And this one is done. Um, made a water princess and a, a water drone and a damp comb. Impregnated frames are kind of complicated to make, but that's what you have to use to get the best out of these. And um, there's different biome 
bees. Oh, yeah, I don't see my skin, have you? Yeah, I'm, I made Plague. He's my OC. He's the shit. In case you were wondering what that fucking head was, because it looks not vanilla. Um, so... Yeah, I think that's it for this episode. Blah, blah. Oh, and that's right. One more thing. One more thing! Um, I have a bunch of sheep and horses and cows and a ranch. Um, I use, I use the sheep for wool. I don't kill them. Um, so I don't really need to replace them. But I do breed the cows because I, I slaughter the cows for their, for their leather mostly. Which I haven't needed to do recently. Um, and then I have one, two, three horses. Yes, three horses. Found them out far, far from here. Um, and underneath, in case you were wondering what the fuck that sound was, it was the nether portal that I made, which I didn't survive very long in, so I'm not going in there soon. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, the map. The map, the map, the map. There we go. So, this is a pretty big map. I've explored a lot. I started way over here somewhere. No, I started, like, here. Um, and then made my way to this little village here. Made a little tiny base, and then I went here and just started out a fucking castle. It's a nice area. Like, lots of field and less forest. Um, yeah, I've, I've been looking for villages and towns and stuff and finding them. Um, there's fucking floating islands. I don't, I don't know what mod that's from. Um, there's craters. I don't know if that's vanilla or not. Actually, she probably should not be doing this outside. I'll get blown up. Um, there is th like thome biomes full of tainted. Uh, it's called taint, <laughs> and um, it it's very dangerous and it turns everything feral. Um, so I try to stay away from that because it spreads. The more you're in that biome or close to it, um, but yeah, the mushroom biome. I have a lot of mushroom biome in this fucking map. But yeah, that's my giant ginormous fucking map. Um, I haven't actually been playing days-wise too long, but I've been playing for eight hours or more at times. So I got it. I got this out pretty quickly. This is a nice mod too. I forgot which one this is, but you can sh you can show players, villagers, pets. Mm, see, uh, showing animals, show mobs. Um, you can choose to have it um, night or day. Um, you can zoom in and zoom out, obviously. You can make waypoints. That's the most useful shit. Like, I have a bunch of waypoints that I use. It's pretty, pretty much you teleport um, to an area. Um, I usually only use it for things that are really, really far away. Um, I try not to use it too much because um, it's easy to cheat with it. Um, different themes, option, whatever. So yeah, this is this is really um, a really nice mod too. But uh, yeah, so I think that's it for now. Um, I just wanted to show you my base. Thought my phone was going off. Um, yeah, that's my base, and I just wanted to show it off, show off the mods, um, show off the mods that that um, I've been using, and um, yeah, that's it. Maybe next time I'll actually go do something in it. Um, um, but yeah, that's it for now. So thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Um, go take a look at my other videos. I have plenty of other um, games that I play like this. Because um, it's like my favorite um, fucking genre. Um, but 
uh, yeah, go check those out. You can check out the other ones, uh, like, um, like Outlast or has a story and stuff like that. But anyway, thank you guys for checking it out, and I'll definitely see you next time. Fox, out. <laughs>